Made its condolences to the family of uh, sports presenter Delisi Lenguenya, who died in a car crash uh, in Peter Maritzburg earlier today. 29 year old Nguenya and Maritzburg United midfielder Mondli Tele died when the car they were traveling in crashed into the Duzi River. Tele had scored the first goal when his team played to the, uh, that's a three all draw against Orlando Pirates on Saturday evening. Unconfirmed reports allege that Tele uh, lost control of his vehicle under bad weather conditions and two women who were in the car were also seriously injured. Nguenya went to Peter Maritzburg to cover uh, the soccer match at the Harry Guala Stadium between Maritzburg United and Orlando Pirates last night. Now, SABC spokesperson Kaiser Kanyako says they are saddened by the loss. And now for more on this, uh, we have on the line the SABC spokesperson, Kaiser Kanyako. Thank you uh, so much, Kaiser, for joining us. First of all, can you just walk us uh, th through who Delisile was and her association with the SABC? Uh, Delisile Nguina is one of the journalists we trusted at the SABC in relation to a new program that we had done with the PSL where we had designated uh, journalists that were following different teams. And in this particular instance, she was assigned to follow Marisbeck United and make sure that we get all the team information from Marisbeck and go to all the games. And that is the reason why she was in Marisbeck this weekend. And uh, we know that uh, details are very sketchy at the moment, but from your side as the SABC, do you have any details at all of what uh, transpired during this uh, uh, sad uh, and uh, tragic accident? Obviously, there are different stories that are coming through, but the long and short of it that we got is that uh, they were traveling in a car, and this car was then ended up uh, in the Dewey River. And, and and the uh, daily died from the scene, and then uh, the, the player Tele uh, died later on, and the other two ladies were uh, survived so far. And that is sketchy information as to where they were coming from and where they were going is information that I think will come up at that uh, at the later stage. And uh, Kaiser, have you been in touch with uh, the family of Delisile? And if you have, uh, what are they saying and how are they feeling? We, our team that is in, in Marisbeck were able to talk to the mother. Obviously, she was saddened because we heard that she was in, the, in KwaZulu Natal at the time because uh, she stays here in, in, in Soweto. But she was there, and she ended up even going to the scene of the of the accident. And obviously, it is still a sad times for for the family, but also it is sad time for us as the SDC because we have lost somebody who really worked uh, tirelessly to make sure that things like Marisbeck are presented to the public and the things that happen behind the scenes. And as the SDC, all that we can do is to send our sincere condolences to the family on behalf of the sports team and the SABC as a whole and make sure that we will follow up on what has transpired and then and, and participate in all the other activities. And finally, Kaiser, uh, do you from uh, the side of the SABC have any plans for a possible memorial service? Obviously, it is still uh, early because this accident happened early this morning when I was told about it. But as, as it is norm for the SABC, we do our memorial services for our staff and the public. And we will then, when the week starts, be able to know when and how the whole thing will happen. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, that was the SABC spokesperson there, Kaiser Kanyako, speaking to us from Johannesburg.